10. Stories of Jesus and references to him abound in the Quran, in the traditions of the Prophet, and in the devotional and psychological literature of Islam. Some of these are well known to Christians through their own Gospels, others are less familiar to them. As teacher of salvation through submission, Jesus is often held up as a model. One would write a book or talk for months about this aspect of the tradition. But one small sample of how Jesus is cited in Islam as teaching through words and actions, in illustrating on the mortal plane by positive action the rewards of submission to God, I choose this brief extract from Ihya al-Ulum, The Revival of Religious Sciences, by al-Ghazali. It is narrated that Jesus, on whom be peace, saw a blind leper who was saying, Praise to God, who has saved me from many things which have befallen others. From what affliction art thou free? Jesus asked him. Spirit of God, said the leper, I am better off than those who do not know God. You speak truly, said Jesus. Stretch out your hand. He put out his hand and instantly was restored to perfect health through the power of God. And he followed Jesus and worshipped with him. This demonstration teaching, as one might name it, may be seen to have an equivalence, whether this be on a lower plane or not, in social action as well as in the spiritual discipline of which we will speak later. Bringing ourselves right up to the present day, and transposing into an area within our own daily concern and competence of action, we may note the thought of one of our contemporary great men who sees no obstacle to interpreting surrender in terms of arming ourselves to carry out human missions. Surrender to God must mean a surrender to the principles which represent, are derived from and analogous to, those of the highest ideals of that which is good. This surrender, therefore, can be, and indeed must be, expressed in social and psychological and other terms, as well as in distinctly devotional ones, confined to religious specialization within ideological communities, sects or institutions claiming exclusivity. An example of this in the social, legal and political field is given by one of Islam's most distinguished thinkers and men of action, the statesman Abd al-Rahman Azam Pasha, in The Eternal Message of Muhammad, New York, 1965, whose name and thought are known and respected throughout Islam. It is our right, we, the descendants of just, equitable and merciful people in the East, as Muslims and as Christians, to strive for a rebirth in which we shall serve as examples and spokesmen for freedom of belief and of opinion in a world that has become intolerant of those who differ in their views. Our forefathers were the protectors of this freedom and its supreme example. Let us inherit this tolerance and let us bear its standard. In this sense, the service of man is the service of God and discharging our duty to man is fulfilling God's commands, and hence surrendering to what he has commanded us to do. One of the great Islamic mystic authors, the classical Persian poet Saadi, says in a famous passage, The way is not otherwise than in the service of the people. It is not in rosaries and prayer rugs and robes. Bostan 1 In this sense, too, the dialogue is already in being, for Muslims and Christians already work together throughout the world, though not everywhere or always, on tasks which are rooted in an acceptance of the commands of God to all, and hence in surrender. This can, of course, only be a voluntary task, which can never be imposed. In position of service, in the sense in which Muslims and Christians alike understand it, is an absurdity, an impossibility. 
Islam, the very word meaning submission, means freedom and choice in service in its perceptible as well as in its interior senses. This is so important that it is written in a famous passage in the Quran, which of course has the force of law for all Muslims. Wilt thou compel man to become believers? No soul can believe but by the leave of God. And perhaps even more familiar, at least to Muslims, is the command, Let there be no compulsion in religion.